Okay, I took a quick break. Um, so now I'm just gonna try this again. Um, and something occurred to me. Maybe I'm not doing this part right. Wardrobe ticket. See, now he's taking it. But if I charge back... Where is your jacket, sir? Ah... Uh... Ah, that's the real one. Don't you want the jacket, sir? No, just needed something from one of the pockets. I'll pick it up later. Classy. All right. Now, that made sense. And with that knowledge, I can go to actually do this mission the right way. Because I'm pretty sure I've got a good idea of what to do. Um, the only thing that was messing me up was... Well, actually, I would have had it that time if I'd known uh, that was where you get the pistol from. But they didn't really make it that obvious. They didn't say, oh, well, this guy has a jacket for you. Didn't say, like, or They said, this guy has a jacket for you. They didn't say, like, he had a special pistol or whatever else. So, uh, that's my beef with that, I guess. Not really a huge deal. I'm just kind of bitching at the wind, but I did kind of sort of cheat a little bit to find that out because uh, it just wasn't obvious. And uh, I took a glance on a form really quick and they said, yeah, that's where, that's where you get the prop gun because I was like a little confused as to how that worked out. So alright, with that in place we can go back up or rather go back down to the uh, to the, uh, the, 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 the what? The actor room. And go down to the actor room and I can swap the uh, or put the bomb in place. Put the bomb in place. That's definitely one of the things I need to do. And um, after I put the bomb in place I can switch the guns out and that should be the two traps they were talking about. And I'm guessing they work together somehow. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Alright, so, I can go up here as a maintenance guy, that should be okay. Place bomb. Roger. That looks good. Yeah, I think I just figured out what that lighthouse, or the light room key is for. I think it's for observing what's going on during the thing. So while I'm waiting for him to get done singing and being all whatever, um, I'm going to just uh, do a quick run around. Do I need to do a quick run around? Um, nah, I don't need to do a quick run around, actually. I can just kind of stand here and wait for, uh, the bodyguard to leave like he did last time. Like, wait for him to go to the bathroom. Like he's doing right now. Awesome. Okay. So, oh wait. Yeah. With him going to the bathroom, I can sneak in here. Close the door. Into the closet. Okay. Am I in the right room? I am in the right room. So let's take a break really quick. Um, pause the recording. Alright, picking up where we left off. Um, our little friends here. So... 
He's gonna look around, he's gonna be all crazy with his gun. Fire his weapon, look all like a like a pro. Like a badass. Oh. Oh. Mm. Shooting a gun takes exertion. Mm. So he can do that. He's gonna leave. Once he leaves, I need to go over here. Pick up the prop. Switch to the real. Put down real WW2 pistol. Alright. So the real one is down. That means he should. He should kill him now. So now I just need to get to a better location and watch the uh, fireworks go off. Like the light room, for example. That would be a perfect place to watch this. So let's mosey. I really didn't mean to go up here. I thought I was going back to the lobby, but uh, this is fine. We can make, we can make uh, some time out of this. Okay, they're going back on stage, so I need to get, I need to get out of here. I need to go. Need to go, need to go, need to go. Haven't heard the music start yet. I think we're good. Uh, light room. Key card. I just love operas. They're so beautiful. The music, the talent. Oh. You know, I actually did do some acting once. I was rather good at it too. There's something soothing about the music. Mm hmm. a beautiful theater. I'm glad we got tickets on Fandango. Can you get tickets on Fandango for operas? I'm not even sure if that works. Hmm. Watching this, you know, it's a really good production. I've got to give them props. The actors are a little stale, though. Facial expressions really aren't that, um, together. Like, the one on the right's a little slacking behind. They're not in unison or anything. Just look at the posture of the guy delivering the lines. What's he supposed to be doing? Writing, like, reading the last will and testament or something? Where is that music even coming from? Hmm. 
Oh, here we go. Oh, guys. I think we got a problem. Man, he was really living that part. He actually looks like he died. Dang. He's a really good actor. Um. Oh my god. What the? What the? What the? What the? Oh! Oh! Oh my! He's my BFF! My BFF! He's probably gonna come in through the auditorium. He's freaking out. Look at him freak out. Oh crap. <laughs> I missed him. I missed him. He tripped fast. What the heck? Oh, what the uh oh. Well, so much for a clean getaway. Come on. One of these shots has to hit him. Dear Jesus. Where I need a sniper rifle. Ah, uh, that one got him. Come on, accuracy. Accuracy? Accuracy? <laughs> yeah! Got him! GG. Run! 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 Run away. Super runaway! Duck and weave! Duck and weave! No! Over the door! Escape! Yes! <laughs> oh god. Oh, someone almost cocked their gun. The twelve witnesses. <laughs> the cleaner. Notoriety three six. Oh no! That was terrible. Oh god. Um, bribe chief of police. There we go. <laughs> the cleaner. I'm not very clean. I gotta say that. Not very clean by a long shot. <laughs> that was so bad. Oh man. Okay. I think I'm done for now. Um I'm going to stop the recording and start editing this stuff. Thanks for watching.